Uh, we're starting today by um, doing some vocabulary. Um, so here we go. Um, a sequence is a list. Oops, sorry. My computer's going to be crazy a little bit. Here we go. So a list of numbers or objects in a special order. Okay, so a list of numbers or objects in a special order, special order. <laughs> Terms is each number in a sequence, sequence. So every single term in the sequence, every single number in the sequence is a term. So this sequence right here in front of me has one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine terms so far. Okay, so it's every number in a in a sequence is a term. Um, let's see, an arithmetic sequence is a sequence made by adding or subtracting the same value each time. Okay. So it's made by adding or subtracting the same value each time. And if we look at this, how do I get 4 minus 1 is 3, so I'm adding 3 here. And I'm adding 3 and adding 3, adding 3. So every single time between the numbers, I'm adding 3, okay? So that's what it means to be an arithmetic sequence as I'm adding 3. Um, the common difference is... Um, <laughs> so much better, is the constant number being added or subtracted throughout an arithmetic sequence. So, and this is the same example as the one above, right? What am I doing every time? Well, I am adding three. Right, adding three every time. So that's my common difference. We're just going over vocabulary, Murray. That's it. We're defining our vocabulary. So if you need to take a picture of this before I scroll up, you should do that because I am going to scroll up right now. Okay. And a geometric sequence is made by um, multiplying. I'm going to definitely spell this one wrong just so you guys know multiplying, oh, that might be right, the same value um, every time. And here, here we can tell, so I can tell that I'm not adding the same number every time because the difference between two and four is two, and 4 and 8 is 4, and 8 and 16 is 8, and 16 and 32 is 16. So I'm not adding the same number every time. So how I find out what I'm multiplying by every time is I take um, this number, the second number, and divide by the following number. So I would do 4 divided by 2, or I would do 8 divided by 4, or I would do 16 divided by 8, right? These, these two numbers, or these two numbers, or these two numbers, I would divide each other, and, and it should be the same number, which in this case it is. It's two. So actually I am, let me erase this now that it's in my way. Um, I am multiplying by two every time, and it's every time. 
So multiply by two, multiply by two. Sorry, I skipped a few, but that's because I was running out of space. So I was multiplying by two every time. So that means that if I'm multiplying, that means I have a geometric uh, sequence, okay? And then our last definition, our vocabulary word is common ratio. And um, it's the constant number being multiplied throughout a geometric, geometric sequence. And again, this is the same example as what we just got done doing. So I'm multiplying by two every time. Mm -hmm. Multiply by two. Okay. Question so far. If you need a picture of the bottom half of the um, vocabulary, you haven't written it down, please do so. If you need a few more minutes, let me know. Let me know. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go on um, to the page. So here, here's what we're doing, okay? So for each sequence, I have, I don't know, 12 or 13 sequences on this page. Um, identify if it's arithmetic, if, it, if it's an arithmetic sequence, a geometric sequence, or neither. So if I'm not adding by the same number, or if I'm not multiplying by the same number, then it's neither, okay? So arithmetic, and I'm just going to kind of write it over here so you guys have... Um, So we have it on this page too. So arithmetic means I'm adding or subtracting. Geometric, geometric means that I'm multiplying by the same number. Okay. Um, then I need to find the common difference or ratio, and that just means what I the same the number I'm multiplying by or the number I'm adding or subtracting by. Um, and then they want me to find um, the next three terms of the sequence. Whatever it happens to be, I need to find the next three terms. Okay, so we're going to start with number one here. And I'm going to look at it and see if I'm adding the same number, subtracting the same number, or multiplying by the same number. So what do I do to get from 40, negative 40 to negative 25? And what do I do to get from negative 25 to negative 10? and negative 10 to five. I'm asking you guys that question. How do I get from, from one term to the next? If you could please put your answer in the chat box and tell me how you think we're getting from one term to the next term. Does anybody have any idea what I'm doing? How I'm getting there? Hello, is there anybody out there? Hi, Zoe. I'm not sure. Okay. So let's start with an easier question. Um, am I adding and subtracting or multiplying in this sequence? Do you guys, do you guys know if I'm adding or subtracting or multiplying in this sequence? I need to know what I'm doing to get from negative 40 to negative 25 Subtracting, good. I'm subtracting. Uh, okay, so let's say this. If if I was subtracting, um, if I was subtracting, my my sequence would be getting smaller. My numbers would be getting smaller or more negative. 
okay? So am I getting more negative or, or am I going, there we go, I'm adding. So I'm getting less negative and going more towards the positive. So I'm adding. Multiplying would mean that I'm um, getting, uh, let's see, how do I want to say this, you guys? I want to say it in good, good words. Um, so if I'm adding or subtracting, my interval between the numbers is the same, right? It's the same. If I'm multiplying, it is um, the the num the difference between the two numbers is way spread out, and then it'll it'll get cl either closer together or further apart. So that's how I kind of tell if I'm multiplying, because either if I start with a big number and go smaller, the numbers are going to get closer together. If I start with a small number and get bigger, they're going to get further apart from each other. That's how I tell if I'm multiplying. Okay. So if I'm if they look like they're the same distance apart, that means I'm either going to be adding or subtracting. Does that help a little bit? So, okay, Alex, that makes sense. So how I tell what I'm adding or subtracting, what I can do is I will take these two terms, the first two terms, right? These two right here, okay? And, and I can figure this out mathematically by going negative 25 minus a negative 40. I'm going to take this term and subtract this term. So that equals 15, okay? And then I can do it again. I can say negative 10 minus a negative 25. Guess what that equals? 15. And then I can do it with the last, ter ter la blah, 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 blah. The last two terms, which is five minus a negative 10, which is also 15. So what am I doing every time? I am adding 15. So which type of sequence? Oh, that's not a 15. Which sequence is that? Is that an arithmetic or a geometric sequence? And while you guys are writing in your answer, I'm going to erase this because I need this space. Okay. So if I'm adding the same same number every time, is that an arithmetic sequence or a geometric sequence? So I, ha I put it right here, right? So if I'm adding or subtracting, what type of sequence is it? I wrote it down right here for you guys. There you go, Zoe. Yep. So if I'm adding or subtracting, it's an arithmetic sequence. If I'm multiplying, it's a geometric sequence. Does that make sense? Are you guys okay with that? So I'm adding, so this is an arithmetic, ah, arithmetic sequence, okay? And then it wants me to find my common difference or common ratio. Well, if I have an arithmetic sequence, I have a common difference. If I have a geometric, I have a common ratio. So that means I have a common difference. What is that common difference? Well, it's 15. Oh, Esta and Walker. Beautiful. Okay, so um, once, I, once I find out what I'm adding or subtracting or multiplying by, that's either going to be my common difference or my common ratio. And then the next three terms in the sequence. So I'm going to take 5 and I'm going to add 15 to 5. Well, what's 15 plus 5? That would be 20. And 20 plus 15 is 20, 35. And 35 plus 15 is 50. So I just found the next three terms in the sequence. Done. Okay. So now we're going to go to the second one. And we're going to do the same thing. Um, if you guys don't have this little... Um, information chart over here written down somewhere if you didn't take notes on the vocabulary you might want to write that down because I'm going to move it out of the screen right now okay so yeah 
Everyone okay? Okay. So what type of sequence, uh, what am I doing here? Am I multiplying or am I adding? And when I say adding, I mean adding or subtracting. Are you guys okay with that? Okay. So um, am I adding or subtracting or multiplying in sequence number two? What do I do to get from 4 to 8 and 8 to 16 and 16 to 32? Am I adding the same number every time? Since it's getting bigger, it would be adding. Am I adding the same number every time? Or am I multiplying by the same number? Good, Zoe, yes. So what am I doing to get from this term to this term and this term to this term and this term to this term? That's what you're asking yourself. Yes, Esther, good. I'm multiplying by 2. And jo Zoe already put it in the chat box that this is, um, is it arithmetic or a geometric um, sequence? Well, since I'm multiplying, this is geometric. Geometric. And since it's, since it's geometric, that means I have a common ratio. And my common ratio is... 2, because that's what I'm multiplying by, okay? And then I need to find the next um, two terms in the sequence. I'm going to get out my calculator, times 2. So 32 times 2 is 64, times 2 is 128, times 2 is 256, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Okay, so we're going to we're going to do two more together and then you guys are going to do some on your own and we're going to see how you do. I hope that more than 3 people answer in the chat box. I think I'll do beast bucks today for people who are answering in the chat box. Okay. So we're still doing the same thing. What am I doing to get from 7 to 21 and 21 to 63 and 63? Oh, sorry. 7 to negative 21 and negative 21 to positive 63 and 63 to negative 189. Yes, Alex. Good. I am multiplying by negative 3. So if I'm multiplying, does that mean it's a a geometric or an arithmetic sequence. You guys don't have to spell it out. You can just say A-R-I-T or G-E-O, -G right? Good. Yeah. Nice, Zoe. Because I'm multiplying, this is a geometric sequence. And then they want me to find the next... Oh, uh, because it's geometric, I have a common ratio. What's my common ratio? Negative 3. Okay, so now I need to find the next three terms in my sequence. And that would be 189 times 3, times negative 3. And a negative times a negative is a positive. So that is 567. Sorry, I'm going to write it down here because I don't have enough room. And then times negative 3 would be negative 1701 and then times negative 3 again would be 5103 dot 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 mm -hmm. okay and then we have our last sequence here okay what how what do I get what am I doing to get from 19 to 24 24 to 29 and 29 to 34. Good, Alex. Anybody else can t anybody else tell me what I'm doing to get from those numbers doing each time? Yes, Alex, good. Yes, Esther, good. Anybody else? 
Nice, Zoe. So anybody other than those three, can anybody other else answer? Any of the other nine, 11 people are in here. Answer other than Alex, Esther, and Zoe. Interesting. Okay, so this is plus five. I'm adding five, and if I'm adding, some people have already answered this. Is it geometric or arithmetic? Good. It's arithmetic. Arith. Arithmetic. It's an arithmetic sequence, okay? And if it's arithmetic, I have a common difference. What's my common difference? Well, it's plus 5, okay? And then the next three terms, 34 plus 5 is 39, plus 5 is 44, plus 5 is 49, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so it's going to be your guys' turn. Um, I may be able to get all of the sequences. Work through these problems. So on A, I am... Um, remember it says that... Um, Remember, the definition of geometric says multiply by. So even though it looks like I'm dividing by 2, which I am, I'm dividing by 2, uh, the definition of geometric is multiply. So if I'm dividing by 2, I have to figure out what that's multiplying by. So um, if I'm dividing by 2, that's the same as multiplying by 1 half. So I'm multiplying by 1 half. If I was dividing by 3, I'm oh, sorry, that's 1 half. If I was multiplying by 3, I mean, sorry, dividing by 3, that would be the same as multiplying by 1 third. Dividing by 5 is the same as multiplying by 1 fifth. So um, just think about that. So it's, it's multiplying by 1 half. If I'm multiplying, that means it's a geometric, geometric sequence. Um, and I have a common ratio of one half. And then my next three terms, half of 20 is 10, half of 10 is 5, half of 5 is 2.5, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so here we go on um, the B. So again, it looks like I'm cutting them a half, so I'd be multiplying by half. So I have a geometric again, and my common ratio is one half, and then um, half of 125, that is a good question, because I do not know. 125 divided by 2 is 62.5, divided by 2 is 31.25. Divided by 2 is 15.625, dot, dot, dot. Okay. So C, what's happening on C? Well, it doesn't look like I'm multiplying because the intervals aren't, like, getting much bigger or much smaller. Um, and the difference between 31 and 36 is minus um, 5. The difference between 25 and 31 is minus 6. The difference between 25 and 21 is minus 4. So I've got some funky things going on here. So that means this is a neither. I'm not adding by the same thing. I'm not multiplying by the same thing. Um, nothing. So, okay. Um, D. Oh, so sorry. Um, what's the difference between um, 
The difference between 36 and 20 is 16. The difference between 24 and 20 is 4. And the difference between, sorry, negative 16, negative 4, uh, 20 to 24 would be plus 4. Wow. And then 24 to 18 would be negative 6. So I'm pretty sure this is a neither again because it's really, really kind of out there. So that one's a neither, okay? And then E, what am I doing every time to get to my next term? Uh, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yep, adding three. So if I'm adding, that means it's an arithmetic sequence. My common difference is plus three. And then my next sequence, 31, 32, 3, 34. Plus three is 37. Plus three is 40, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Uh, next one, how do I get from here to here and here to here and here to here? Let's see, three, seven, eight, eight, eight. So it looks like I'm adding eight every time. So again, that's a arithmetic. Uh, and my common difference is eight. And uh, my next three ter terms, 67 plus 8 should be 75, plus 8 should be 83, plus 8 should be 91, dot, dot, dot. Okay. I think I did the, the math right on that in my head. Okay, and the last one. What am I doing to get from 2 to 8, 8 to 32, 32 to 128? So obviously I'm not adding the same number. So I want to see if I'm multiplying the same number. So what is 8 divided by 2? So we'll come over here. 8 divided by 2 has got to equal 32 divided by 8, which has got to equal 128 divided by 32, which I'm pretty sure it does all is 4. Four. So that means I'm multiplying by 4. So that means I have a geometric. And my common ratio is 4. And then my next three terms would be... Hard to get the calculator out. 128 times 4 is 512 times 4 is 2048, times 4 is 8192. Okay. Good job.